Welcome to episode 5 of the Peep Show edition of Bare Naked Bravery. I am sitting here, I'm house-sitting. One of the fun things that I get to do is house-sit and pet-sit. Um, that's part of being an awesome digital nomad life, which is my new thing. Um, since I announced that I was doing the sabbatical in 2017, I have one by one cut myself from location-based income over the you know, for this time that I'll be away. So I don't know if it's a permanent thing. Um, I don't know if it's um, if it's going to be three months or six months or nine months. Um, and, and part of the big question mark or part of the reason why I don't have those answers um, is because I was, I'm, I'm part of the reason why I was doing this sabbatical is to spend time with family. Part of that reason was because I knew that my grandmother was in the last days of her beautiful life and that my grandfather would need someone to help him watch American Pickers and make casseroles and things like that. So I um, found out this week um, that she said her final goodbyes on Tuesday morning, early Tuesday morning, or Wednesday morning, I apologize, just a couple days ago. And it's, I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words. Um, so I will try, I'll do my best. The, the goodbyes are sometimes not a surprise. Sometimes the goodbyes are expected. Um, but as I mentioned earlier in early this week in my email newsletters, sometimes the timing of life does take you by surprise. Like the timing is so perfect that it takes you by surprise. So I think it's really fitting that and really pretty perfect that, um, our conversation with Jake aired this week, which was, it aired the day before she said her, my grandmother said her final goodbyes. And so I needed that reminder. I needed to re-listen to some of Jake's advice and suggestions and stories about why it's important to seek community when you're grieving and when you're mourning um, and how important it is to come together and celebrate someone's life with other people. So um, next week I will be flying out on a red eye to go to my grandmother's funeral and then coming back to say my final goodbyes for, for the meantime to Washington and everyone out here in the Northwest before I hop in my car, my van, my minivan, and with all of my remaining belongings and go out to Wyoming for Christmas and then um, take the rest of the journey and probably aim to be in Atlanta by January 1st. So that's the plan. There are lots of moving pieces in that plan. Um, but, you know, I feel like I've had like small little bits of practice in saying goodbye to things in the last couple of months as I've been preparing for this. Um, the, the implications of me taking time off to go do a sabbatical, um, and I use time off with a quotation mark because I still be work. I will still be working, and the podcast will still be going, and all of these things will still be up and running. But I won't be in one specific location for those things. So, the implications of taking this digital nomad sabbatical means meant that I had to sell a lot of my belongings, and I had to give away a lot of my belongings, and really, really downsize. Everything I own now fits in a five by five foot square storage unit, which is kind of amazing. Um, so all of those things will somehow fit into my van. What doesn't fit will go to Goodwill. Um, and I will go out to Wyoming on December 12th. That is the, that is the plan right now. And I and I'm grateful for having had the practice of saying goodbye to my stuff 
because in some cases, some of the stuff I really just truly didn't need in the first place. And I was happy to have an opportunity to let go of it. But some of the stuff was actually hard to say goodbye to. Like for instance, my Tempur-Pedic mattress, which I still adore. And I will talk to you for days about how much I love my memory foam mattress. Um, And it was hard to say goodbye to that because I do enjoy it. But I also knew that what what I was replacing it with was going to be something that I ultimately wanted more, which was um, freedom and family and expression and creativity. And so I think that when we are saying goodbye to things and saying goodbye to people, it's important to not just leave our life with a gaping hole (laughs) where that item or where that person or that relationship once was, but it's important to replace it with something so that we can learn to live with our new set of values um, and learn to live with the way that our lives now look now that that person is gone. So in the case of our family, that means that we are all hopping in planes and going to be there for her uh, and my the rest of my family as we all just together say goodbye and, you know, put a put a beautiful feather in the cap of her beautiful life. So um, I think that coming together in that community element is part of that healing process that we have to go through when we say goodbye to someone specifically. So um, I would encourage you guys today and this week to, to identify some of the things that you've said goodbye to in the last a handful of months and try to figure out what it is you've replaced that thing or that person or that relationship with in your life. Um, and then further ask, how do you like the thing that you replaced it with? Is the way that your life, does the way that the, your life look now, does that reflect and does that honor the person and the relationship that you had to say goodbye to? So, that's all I have to say today um, and this week, but I will have more as the weeks unfold and as the holiday season winds up and then back down, it's going to be a really exciting adventure and I am happy to bring you guys along and I can't wait for all that it holds. It's going to be a really exciting thing. If you like the show again, you should subscribe to it because then you get these little peep shows automatically downloaded into your phone because you've asked for it. And then you don't have to miss out on all of the fun, adventurous stuff that's going on. And if you're curious about the email newsletter that I mentioned, you can definitely sign up for that via barenakedbravery.com. There is a spot there right at the top where you can put your email address in, and then I will give you the Bare Naked Bravery coloring book just for free for being awesome. So um, have a great rest of your weekend and may you, may we all learn to say goodbye well.